Hello friends, what is up? It's Kat here. In a shocking turn of events, Netflix has dropped yet another Avatar The Last Airbender live action trailer. We are T-minus 48 hours, if that, out from the release of this show. And I'm honestly just a little bit shocked and extremely impressed by just the sheer amount of promo that Netflix has been doing to generate more hype on top of the already pre-existing hype that was present for this show. I feel like every day on Twitter, I see a new clip, but they dropped a final trailer today, which, <laughs> We are literally like hours away from this show coming out and they've dropped one more trailer, but I've seen I've seen online that there is some really actually cool stuff in this because I was like, what else could there be? What are they saving for our final trailer that we haven't already seen? But I guess we'll find out. So I figured I would just do a quick little reaction and then maybe share my thoughts heading into the show, where I'm at, my excitement levels, my optimism uh, as Thursday approaches. So let's check this out. Aim. You must master the Avatar state. It can be the ultimate weapon. What the? Oh, flip! Or it can save your life. Shit. Everyone is counting on me. Am I supposed to save the world if I don't know what I'm doing? But imagine what'll happen if you don't even try. Oh, flip. What is it? Tap in, Aang. Yes. Okay, I have chills. Frick, frick, frick. Oh, flip. I thought you firebenders had some guts. Oh, 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 flip. Flip. That, that, that. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I'm eating, um... All right, I am uh, eating my own words here. Frick, there I was 20 seconds ago saying, uh, what more could they be in a final trailer? They were like, you thought, huh? How dare you question? I, pff, whoa, I'm gonna be honest. I really wasn't expecting them to show much more that they hadn't already divulged and all of the other sneak peeks and all of the former teasers, the previous trailers and whatnot. I didn't think we were gonna see much more, but seeing Kyoshi, seeing Mangiatsu, like, all of the scenery so far, even if everything else looks like shiz, which I doubt it does, they've already excelled, I feel like. They already have me sold. Just phenomenal, how fabulous this world just looks. Every location is just immediately identifiable. Looks, looks really, really developed, really cared for, really just everything very thought out, intentional with the, you know, focus of, you know, really accurately replicating what we know to be the universe in the animated series. Every, it really does look like how it all would translate. Very much feels like it has the same energy, the same vibes as the original series and all of the destinations and locations that we go and frankly that's such an important part especially of you know book one they're traveling quite a lot this show just made my like the chills like the stakes of you know the weight on all of these children they're literally children uh but this trailer i really had chills because it focused a lot on you know the the stakes the fate of the world at hand and just the challenge on their shoulders here i'm gonna be honest i'm shocked that they showed ang in his full-fledged avatar state there you know when that was the little tease in the initial the first official trailer and it ended it cut right before you can see the full the full-blown avatar state i really thought that was something that they were gonna save this shot of kiyoshi like just sent a chill down my spine like i'm really excited to see this play out in live action with human emotion you know even just these shots here you know with how youthful they all are it really is preserving so much of just that emotion and innocence and youth it's hitting me how a lot of these things which we already think we're prepared for are gonna hit different in live action you know similarly with the last of us obviously a completely different genre completely different you know video game to live action adaptation but even when i thought that i knew everything going in and that i was fully prepared and how much could it hurt the second time around i was eating my words then as well because just something about seeing it in live action with the talent that the actors will bring to it is just 
it just does hit differently. But that's obviously not to knock the art of video game creation or animation, frankly. You know, I still care so much and am so invested and have so much just love and adoration for all of the animated renditions of these characters. So that is not to say that animation is lacking in emotion in any way, shape or form, but, but seeing it play out in live action just inherently, you know, hits a little bit different. One thing that I actually really applaud and perhaps this is, I don't know if this was an intention with the marketing, but here I am watching this and I don't feel any kind of like jarring, like lack of acceptance here that any of these actors or these characters. I don't know if I'm phrasing that correctly, but I think a good side effect of all of the marketing promotion that they've been doing to really highlight, uh, the, especially these young, the, the main quad of actors here, you know, Suko Ang, Katara, Saka, they've been doing quite a lot of promotion. These kids have been working overtime. I feel like they must be so exhausted. I already feel very much like familiar with all of them. Like, yeah, that's Aang, that's Sokka, that's Katara. Like they are these characters and I am so excited to see what they bring to it. You know, there's been so much buzz going around online, Twitter especially. Oh, I, I just want to go in without all of that chatter and all of that other external noise and just really go in clear eyes, full arts, clear my mind. You know, obviously inevitably I'm going to be making just subconscious comparisons between this and the animated series, but I think I'm, I'm just really excited. Yes, I hope this show does well just for the sake of doing well and doing justice to the animated show, but it's clear from everything that I've watched and seen and all of the interviews that I've seen with all of the producers and showrunners and cast and crew, everyone involved, clear that they all really recognize and approach to this with that weight on their shoulders that that is a focus here, like that is an obstacle that they all clearly were ready to tackle. And I think I definitely have to just go in accepting that even if this, I don't want this to be a carbon copy of the animated series. If you're approaching this beloved and incredible story in the live action realm, as long as you stay faithful and true to just the core and the foundation of that story and the, just the emotions, everything that just got me invested as a nine year old, you know, like as long as that kind of core essence, just the youth and the hope, but still the dark themes of this show and some of the heavier, more intense topics and the high stakes while balancing it with just the fun, playful energy that still shines through in the midst of all of that. If they're able to capture that, then they've already won, you know, like that I think is just the biggest thing. And I'm ready to see this in a different medium in live action, looking pretty visually gorgeous from just the trailers here. So I'm definitely going to be filming some episode reactions to this. So stay tuned for those T minus 48 hours before the grind starts. I'll catch you guys when the show comes out out in my first few reactions but until then hope you guys are doing well and i'll see you guys again very very soon bye guys